Our world has been shaken by COVID-19 so much that every sector, every system, and every economic strata, rich or poor, young or old, has been hit by the impact of the pandemic. The highlight of this pandemic is the isolation lifestyle, where people are advised to stay quarantined or forced to be on lockdown. How are things easing out on your end? For us here at Ogun State, Nigeria, by the way, if you didn't know, I film from the city of Abel Kuta, Ogun State, Nigeria. We're still on lockdown on the weekends, but the weekdays are open for movements. Brilliant, right? <laughs> the government thinks that we have a higher chance of getting infected on Saturdays and Sundays. That's besides the point. Restaurants are still open for the most part, but you can't eat in. You only have the option to take out, which is smart. At least we're grateful for the privilege to step out of our homes. The total lockdown was not fun at all, even for homebodies like me. Yeah, that's a word. That's an actual thing. A homebody is someone who likes to be at home, um, but can also have a normal social life where they you know, go out occasionally. That occasionally was taken away and the total lockdown was really difficult. I remember at some point I was sick and tired of just being home. So we're grateful for the opportunity to step out. As bad as that sounds, imagine how it must have been for outgoing people. Now imagine how bad it would have been for single outgoing people. Now imagine if that single outgoing person is in a foreign country with no family members around. My heart goes out to everyone who's away from their family or and loved ones at this time. You are not alone. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Faith Friday. My name is Lade Owolabi. I welcome you all. Um, if this is your first time of stopping by my channel, you're very much welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you so, so much. You guys are the bomb. Thank you so much for blessing me in the comment sections. Your comments minister to me, literally. And most times, God speaks to me through the comments. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. God bless you. Have you ever felt like you were all by yourself, even though you were in a house full of people? Like you're the only one who has ever been through a failed marriage, betrayal, rejection, a failed relationship, or even a divorce. That's a feeling. It's called loneliness. Loneliness is a feeling of sadness, and it's normal like other feelings of happiness. Loneliness is a normal feeling, and it's caused by emotions. So feelings are caused by emotional triggers. And emotions are reactions to circumstances, people, our mood, and just relationship we have with people or things. When loneliness becomes excessive and all-consuming, it can interfere with our daily living. And that's what the devil wants. He wants to get you isolated. He wants to get you to a place of isolation where you feel down, you feel lonely, you feel rejected, you feel dejected. And you feel like nobody cares about you, nobody loves you, nobody checks on you, um, and you're a victim. He also lies to you and tells you that you're being taken advantage of. So these are the lies that the devil tells. And we know that the devil is, is he's a liar. And everything he says is a lie. But these are things he brings to our minds because he first likes to attack us in our minds with thoughts. So are you feeling lonely or are you alone? To be alone is a state of being without anyone around you. Are you all by yourself where you actually do not have someone around you? Are you like our single sister or brother living in a foreign country during the pandemic? Whether it's a feeling or an actual state of being alone, our Father God does not want you isolated. In Matthew 18, we find the parable of the lost sheep. God is able to leave the 99 and go after the one you could be that one and you could really feel like you are alone without anyone around you but god is willing to go and find you so wherever you are at in your walk with god and in your faith i just want to encourage you and let you know that he wants you back in matthew chapter 1 let me read from verse 23 the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him emmanuel which means God with us. That's what God wants me to remind you of today, that he's always with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Let's read another part of the Bible from Psalms 23. Let's read from verse 4. 
It says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Okay, the version that I'm reading now says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. He is always with you, wherever you are, whatever you're going through. You're not the only one that's going through that. You're not the first person that will go through that. You will not be the last person that will go through that. Don't, those are the lies that the devil and the enemy likes to tell us. You're the first person to go through a heartbreak, really? Or you're the first person to go through this bad heartbreak, really? You're the first person to lose your job. That's not true. So don't listen to the voice of the devil. Rather, seek to hear from God. Last week, we talked about a family affair. And in that episode we discussed about how god is our father and we talked about the revelation of god as abba so in today's video i'm going to be speaking specifically to a few people abba has instructed me to speak to a few people so i might be looking down at my notes i just don't want to miss anything or anyone you're a single mom or a single dad abba wants me to remind you that he will never leave you or forsake you you can read Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 6 it says be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified for the Lord your God goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you never is a very strong word and he says that he will never he will never leave you nor forsake you a single mom a single dad that's God's word for you today he said he has put a treasure in your hand that child he has put a destiny for you to nurture he has put a treasure in your hand he will never leave you nor forsake you so be strong be strong in the power of his might god will never leave you he is a friend that sticks closer than a brother proverbs 18 24 says one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother closer than a brother he sticks real close real close so when all your friends and all your family everybody it seems like everybody has forsaken you there's somebody that sticks closer than a brother and that's our that's our god that's our heavenly father if you're a student you're a young adult you're a single guy or a single babe single lady um here's what abba wants me to tell you he wants me to tell you to seek him for his plans for your life don't just go through life as kisera kisera whatever will be will be seek him find out what he wants for your life find out his plans for your life that's very important um he also tells me to tell you that you should not despise your days of little beginning you can read more about that in zachariah chapter 4 and verse 10. he has a plan for your life he is faithful to the work that he has started in your life he can do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask for above all you can think of and above all you can imagine so if you're a single lady don't think that there's a speck of of men or husband that's too high for you or too unrealistic please whatever you think of god is able to do exceedingly so don't don't water down your plans for your life always aim at the stars like shoot really high okay that's what abba wants me to tell you today for our students and young adults um, and i just want to tell you personally that we believe in you we love you so much and we are proud of you we know that you make us proud um, and we're cheering you on we're cheering you on i know that the demographics of my channel you know i have um, a different age range and that's why i'm sure that god is leading me to talk to these sets of people all right, so the next um, set of people would be the soon to be retired or, you know, retired, the ones that are already retired. So if you're soon to be retired or retired, Abba wants me to let you know that you are far from finished. You are far from finished. He's doing a new thing in your life. He's doing a new, allow him to do a new thing in your life. You should be the guiding star that people should see to lead them to Christ. You should be the guiding star. Your life your, your lifestyle, your character, your attitude, your behaviors should be the guiding star that leads others to Christ. You may not have started your younger years with Christ, but you cannot afford to finish without him. You cannot afford to finish without him. He has a plan for you. And my personal message to you, if you're retired or about to retire or just like in that age range, is that we need you. We need you, we appreciate you, we honor you. And I just want to thank everybody that's older that watches this channel. 
Um, thank you so much. God bless you. We really honor you. Thank you so much. The next category is caretakers, parents and guardians and mentors. Abba wants me to let you know that what you do is not just a thing it's a calling so if you're a parent you just have people that you look after people that look up to you your mentor he wants you to know that that's a calling raising children nurturing destinies it's a calling and that he trusts you he trusts you that is why he has put that life in your hand he trusts you he also wants me to let you know that he is your wisdom and he is your defense you need wisdom you need wisdom to be a caretaker. You need wisdom to be a mentor to anybody. You need wisdom to be a guardian. I mean, children go through different stages and, you know, for somebody like me, we I have like toddlers, teenagers, um, preteens. And, you know, I know that you need wisdom and I totally, constantly, always depend on the wisdom of God. So he wants me to let you know that he's your wisdom and he is your confidence. He's also your peace. I pray for you that you will not fall, you will not fail, and you will not falter. The next set of people is people who feel rejected, you feel hurt, you feel abused, you feel heartbroken. Abba wants me to tell you that he loves you and he makes all things perfect. He also wants me to let you know that he makes all things beautiful in his time. He makes all things beautiful in his time. He is your friend that sticks closer than a brother if you feel scared or weak or feeble or fearful he wants me to let you know that he's your confidence and he's your strength i also want you to know that god has not given you the spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind i want you to say these words with me say i am complete i am complete with my big nose with my big belly with my flabby arms with my pimpled face with my eczema skin fill in the blank whatever it is for you i am complete in god and he loves me just the way i am yes indeed you are complete colossians chapter 2 and verse 10 says for we are complete in christ who is the head of all principalities and power also i don't want you to forget that he is your emmanuel he is god with you so you personalize it although it means god with us you personalize this and say god with me god with me is God with me. That's all I have on today's episode of Faith Friday. I hope it's been a blessing. Um, you guys know that the channel has taken a new, totally new direction and I've been enjoying it. Um, I've been doing it afraid, but I've been doing it anyways because with God, there's no fear and he has given us the spirit of power, of love and of a sound mind. If you feel like sharing a story to encourage someone that's single or maybe um, how you overcame something in your marriage or how you overcame something at your job, you might just feel led or be reminded of something that happened specifically, please feel free to leave a long enough comment because people are going to be reading. Um, and if you're not comfortable to leave a comment, then by all means, send me an email. My email will be on the screen and I can come here and read that testimony so people can learn from it. Whichever way works for you, but I just really want this community to be the community of people who support each other, who are there for each other, and who can tell each other, you know what, you got this and you can overcome this. That's all I have on today's episode of Faith Friday. Until next time, don't forget to be the best version of you. Bye.